to my YouTube channel, Walk and Talk with Queen P. For all my followers, welcome back. And for anybody new, welcome to my channel. I hope you all enjoy. If you do enjoy this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. Feedback is a gift. Good morning. Today is Sunday the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day. Today I'm wearing my Puma leggings which are such a comfortable fit. My Afro Pop socks as you can see and this time I'm wearing my Nike Vapor Maxes which are another one of my favourite pair of trainers. They're super comfortable. Anyway where do I find myself today? Where you may ask? I'm in West Croydon. It's a much loved place of mine, close to my heart. I just remember when all these shops were thriving. Now look, they're all boarded up. It's sad to see, really is sad to see. This is not so far from West Croydon bus station. All these shops, sad to see. I mean, some of them obviously are, are closed because of the situation we find ourselves in. But some of them, I don't believe, are operational anymore. As you can see, this is boarded up. It's very sad. Croydon never really used to be like this when I lived here. <sighs> so sad. Your plants, hands, your oh, everything, everything. Heading back down, heading back up, I should say, to West Croydon this Trade. Building, oh, I keep looking at this building. 18 established in 1835. This particular pub, the Old Fox and Hounds. You're seeing Croydon. There's so many old buildings, but also a lot of new developments here as well, which more towards East Croydon I would say but I'll take you along on my journey and you will you will see so do keep watching a lot of a lot of units that are now vacant in Croydon as you can see on the corner we have this one so sad so so sad many many vacant buildings in units I should say in Croydon Investment is required. Definitely a place of potential. Even more so than what it was many years ago when I used to live here. It's got so much potential to be amazing. It's the hub, it's got so much, it's got amazing transportation links here. Amazing transportation. You've got East Croydon, West Croydon Station that runs quite fast into London Victoria, London Bridge, Brighton. The, the transportation links in Croydon is amazing. So good. The bus system here is really good as well. We've also got tram, as you would have seen or will see in my video. So much, so much. But it has actually changed 
for the worst, I would say. But it has potential to get back up there, if not better. Let's go past Marks and Sparks, Marks and Spencers. That shop is actually open purely because they do sell food in there. It's an essential shop. But a lot of the non essential shops are actually closed because of the situation we find ourselves in, as I mentioned before. Now I'm just going to enter into one of the shopping centres that I did frequent quite a bit when I was younger. And Close to my heart is a wig gift centre. This place is particularly changed, particularly changed quite a bit. Oh my gosh, another look at all these vacant units. Oh, Thomas Cook, which we know basically is no longer. The unit is still there, but obviously vacant. Let me go into the wig gift centre. Oh, let me just back up. Let me back up, let me back up so you can see wig gift centre the entrance into Whitgift Centre. It's not so busy at all. Not surprising. We have many things that occurred within 2020, 2021, which does mean that a lot of these shopping malls will be empty for the fact that a lot of the shops are not open or they've been vacated. So weird, I've been here for a while actually. So you like me. A lot of these things might be a bit new, but I do know that a lot of the shops that were here before are <laughs> vacated to Croydon. But you need to come back, you really do. Croydon is a place of great potential. Okay, hey, I'm now out of Whitgift Centre. I wasn't able to record in there. So yes, I've just come out, just on a loop of Whitgift Centre. As you can see, Whitgift Shopping Centre. It saddens me, there are a lot of shops in there, a lot of units that are now empty. A lot of units that are now empty within Whitgift Centre. From the jewellery shop called Swag. Oh, there's so many, so many shops that are, are, um, are now, and have now vacated. On this corner here, if I remember correctly, there was an HM, was there an HM? No, it wasn't an HM, it was Sports Direct, I think. It was a sports shop now. There's this store, which I don't recognise. Just ahead of us, where it says one below, which I believe is a pound shop. We used to have HMV. Let me just head back down. I walked through Wheat Gift Centre, but I didn't walk along the high street. So this is the high street here. Some of these shops I do recognise. They're still here. Holland and Barrett wasn't here before. So it must have taken over a store, which I don't remember. I can't remember what was there, actually. Another vacant unit, as you can see, on Croydon High Street. Another one there as well. I don't know that store. That store's another new one that I've never seen before. And I don't actually recognise the brand name. Over there. Oh, wow. Obviously, JD's boarded up. Hopefully, it still remains. Top shop. Still there, but obviously, it's closed due to the situation we find ourselves in. Police. There you go. Oh, this store. Oh, wow. Vision Express is closed now. Another vacant unit. I think whilst I'm down this end, I might as well venture into shopping mall, which is called Central. That's a bit, that was that's a newer shopping mall to Wick Gift. Wick Gift has been here for ages, for years. And um, to be honest, a lot of the re a lot of the shops vacated. I I assume because of what was going to come, which would have been in New Westfield. Don't know what's going on with that at the moment. Hopefully, it will come. I hope it does, because that will bring alive Croydon again. But um, don't know what's going on with that. This is the other shopping centre called Central, which has got quite a few of the newer shops in there, such as Zara. Let's take a look. I don't think I can record in here either. So, and I've my face covering on as well. So, yeah. Okay, you also have this place, which is Next Outlet, which is with, within Central. 
and this next outlet used to be Debenhams, which as you know, no longer operates as a store, a physical store I should say. I think it's still online, but not as a physical store anymore. Now this building, oh my gosh, I loved coming here when I was younger. Let me zoom in. It has so many lovely concessions within here called Orders. Orders, wow. Orders Limited. Such an amazing store. It was. As you can see, this massive building is now vacant. <sighs> so sad. Super, super sad. Another landmark giving Croydon, which is gone. Really sad. There's so many concessions in there. It was a place I did for quite a bit when I was younger as well, especially after college and stuff. Here we've got Primark, 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 Primark. We have Primark in nearly every city within the UK. I do miss it. I do miss a bit of, of a Primark. Within Croydon, as I said before, there's so many unique landmarks obviously we also have this building here i'll put this in my description just ahead of us. This actual road leads down to um, East Croydon which is ahead of us where the tram is but down here you have you have um, Surrey Street Market. Let's see if it's operational. Oh the tram's coming down. If I remember correctly, the trams run between Addington and um, Wimbledon. So many old buildings, as you can see. Look at these, the features of these buildings. Amazing, right? Cobble streets. And this leads down to where the market is, or should be. But I don't think it's operational today. Street market. Let's zoom in. Okay. This is the road where Surrey Street Market is, or will is ordinarily would ordinarily be down this road here, which you can definitely not drive down because I've done it before and I got a ticket. So. Mm. Uh, walking down near Old Croydon and this particular shop has been here for years as well I don't think we'll go anywhere this is one of the main providers of school uniform for a lot of the schools in Croydon Hewitt where we had a Dulwich College for Boys, private school. We also have a Palace of John Whitgift for girls. As, he, as, he, as laid before us, this is in the old bit of poison. The only other side of the road is you can see it properly. St. Croydon, you have a lot of these, a lot of period properties and a lot of new ones all 
merge together. A new building here, older building here, just across the road from each other. Oh, we're coming up to another landmark in Croydon, which is Reeves Corner, which had, has, I should say, a famous furniture shop. One side um, burnt down some time ago, um, but the other side remains. I'll show you. So this is where the previous built building was, well not previous building, one of the buildings was, the one that actually burnt down. And then here's the, the, the one that still remains. It was established in 1867, wow. 18... 67 Reeves Corner So if you're going to park, be minded that there is no after five free parking, no free weekend free parking. It runs, actually only Sundays actually is free. Oh no, it's not even free. Sundays you have to pay. So just be minded, you have to pay. And usually I think with it doing a week, it's um, up to midnight, not five o'clock p.m. Midnight. So just be minded that when you park in your parking bays, it is never going to be free. <laughs> Only if you park after midnight. Oh, this is the clock tower there. This is another light. This is town hall. Croydon town hall. You can see the clock tower there. We'll pass there shortly. I'm just walking up this steep hill. Oh, all these old buildings another one what is the one with this it's called scarbrook chambers can't see the date quite yet let's see across the road and see oh 1909 this building Ooh. a lot of old buildings in in croydon <sighs> gonna pass by the town hall now for shortly Again, as I said, there's a lot of vacant units the one before us and this one here is, was a pub, it's all boarded up. I don't know if it's vacant or they've boarded up because of the situation we find ourselves in. Not too sure, but yeah. Look at this artwork. Absolutely amazing. Love it. Oh gosh, it's so lovely. Okay, we've reached the clock tower, which is just above us now. This is where the town hall is. Usually this will be buzzing. People are in a coffee cafe shop here, in the pub here. And also, this is another place that I used to visit quite a bit when I was at school, college. It's quite a library. which is right next to the town hall. Now, this was built in memory of those who lost their lives in wars and conflict. A tribute to the men and women of Croydon who died and suffered 
1914 to 1918, First World War, 1939, 1945, Second World War. <sighs> and here is the town hall. more artwork oh actually let me go back you can see the town hall from here the actual view <gasps> looks like there are buildings I think on this plot maybe houses I would have already seen houses or flats actually more say flats I would say <gasps> look at this artwork so lovely ahead of us is Fairfield Halls, another landmark in Croydon, with the Ashcroft Theatre. Okay, we're heading up to East Croydon train station. As I said before, amazing transport connections in Croydon. Just next to East Croydon, you will have um, the new development, the newest development called Box Park, which has a lot of great e trees in there. Which I'm not too sure. I think it would only be open for takeaway, I would assume. Before we reach East Croydon train station, I will show you. We've got Croydon College ahead of us. There's quite a lot of new developments. This is definitely a new development, these flats here. These apartments, I should say. So, yeah, there is definitely development happening here in Croydon, but we need more, we do need more. There is Box Park. I'm sure if I was to go in there, Box Park is ahead of us. I don't think I'll be able to film in there. And East Croydon is just there as well. The amazing transportation links. Good morning, Dad. Is it Oh my God, the Tinsel Town. I didn't realise there was a Tinsel Town in. I didn't realise there was a Tinsel Town in um, Box Park. That tells you how long I've been here. Since I've been here. It's all time now to come down here. video um, I need to rush back because I need to go do my yoga as I've mentioned in one of my previous videos I actually do uh, a Quaba yoga which happens every single Sunday at 12 30 on YouTube so I would highly recommend you tuning into a Quaba yoga absolutely amazing really good for the mind the body and the soul as you know that's what we're all into so yeah Quaba yoga 
12.30 every Sunday on YouTube. All you need to do is type in Aquaba Yoga and you will easily find many, many, many of the videos already recorded and he does a live stream at 12.30 every Sunday as I mentioned before at 12.30 for 45 minutes so I need to rush back home see you all next Sunday and as I always mention if you like please do like so if you enjoyed my video please do like comment and subscribe and as I always say feedback is a gift and it'll be so much appreciated <laughs>